So, I was thinking about bringing the dog back, and uh, I was wondering, would you want to have him collab with Frenchie Town? Because I think that would be really cool and make a lot of sense to have two masked entities come together. Maybe one idea that does come to mind is the dog hates COVID mask because, you know, get it, he... He already has a mask, so it's like, why do I got to wear a mask on my mask? This is ridiculous, you know, maybe something like that. I don't know, maybe that might go too far. That's a weird idea I had where, you know, the dog is a masked entity, so he's already masked, but they want him to wear another mask. What kind of crap is this? I'm the king of pastas. Maybe something like that. Maybe Frenchy Talent, you know, could be like, yeah, I hate wearing COVID masks too because I'm already a masked individual. You know, I'm a masked entity. I can't be affected by diseases, you know. Let me know how you feel about that idea. That's the only one I can think of right now. Howdy, howdy. Frenchy Talent with Gary Nitro. Live from Bruce Wayne Manor. Good one, Gary. And he's just going to... Sip on a uh, Joan soda over there. Maybe you remember those from way back when. But an associate, Jackal Goldkick, talked about how he was gonna summon the dog and bring him back into the fold with some brand spanky new videos. And I kind of felt like what would be better to happen than to actually see something about that. So it's you know, the manifestation of this, we understand that folks get sidetracked and things kind of, the partialness has to be mainly about focus, but I kind of felt like we can piece this together as far as the as it were situation. So, yes, I'm going to talk about COVID masks, which is something the dog doesn't like wearing. He thinks when he goes out in public, you know, this pandemic that's been out and about, well, you know, he's already masked. So he was a step ahead of some of you folks. He was wearing them eight years ago. It's like, well, what do you think about that? Kind of like the oddness of Michael Jackson doing that. It's kind of prophetic. We don't really know at this stage. It's kind of the concept. So, you know, to wear a mask and then be expected to wear another one might be a little bit off key those kind of but some people do recommend double masking and i kind of feel like in that sense you know there's just so many situations you can say about doubling up you know it's that sort of situation strap up twice you know for our fraternized buddies out there that just kind of happens to be the situation but Yes, I, I can, I have relatability to that sort of situation as far as what I think about, as far as what I think about having to wear a mask out in public, because guess what, when I'm around these parts, when I'm not doing my janitor job out in the demon plane, I do have to traverse around, say what's up to acidic roots, hang with Cobot a little bit, get coffee, that sort of stuff, but it's kind of like, you know, one place that I truly did not like wearing a mask when I did do it was at my job. And that was kind of the situation, you know, working, you know, like Burger World, for example, I got out of that situation, but initially kind of dealing with that sort of stuff and having to make hot French fries and hot hamburgers or wearing a mask that covers your mouth, your nose, and kind of torques your ears forward like so, gets a little bit tiresome. So I smell like, I smell like hamburger grease, french fry, french fry grease, and a hospital clinic lobby because of me having to wear these masks. And then they, then they switch it up and they say, next after that you need to wear like two masks like we've talked about and then an N95 mask so now I'm in professional business to cut down a tree because that's what you typically use an N95 mask for so I just got enlisted apparently I have to know a thing or two about face masks all of a sudden kind of strange I didn't get that degree when I was in schooling folks just what I have to say but yes it pisses the dog off 
and you know I made some extra money in my pocket from you know working throughout a pandemic when other people weren't living off of you know um, unemployment and such and I, you know, I got the COVID vaccine. I did these certain situations, but reflecting on that, it was just kind of, you know, a thumbs down situation. So it kind of reminds me of a story I'm going to show you about a time when I worked at Burger World in 2019 before COVID. Doesn't have anything, completely doesn't have anything to do with this situation that we're talking about, but Hey, you shouldn't be complaining. I'm telling you, man, there should be a new rule. If there's no boogers on my finger, I shouldn't have to wash my hand when I work here. I don't get it. I mean, if there's nothing, you know, that's one thing about working in food, the hand situation. You gotta keep them super clean. You know, this kind of like, you know, I've got shit to do. You know how many french fries I make per day? 